We only have about 30 uh, seconds. You, you called for a WikiLeaks for the Federal Reserve. Something tells me that you differ with your colleagues who are calling for the prosecution of the WikiLeakers and agree with me and most of our viewers that it's a good thing for us to learn what the government is up to. Well, in, in a free society, we're supposed to know the truth. In a society where truth uh, becomes treason, then we're in big trouble. And now people who are revealing the truth are getting in, in, into trouble for it. But this whole notion that Assange, who's a, a, an Australian, that we want to prosecute him for treason. I mean, aren't they jumping to uh, a wild conclusion? No, uh, this is media, isn't it? I mean, why don't we prosecute the New York Times or anybody that releases this? I think uh, Manley, uh, Bradley Manley, you know, probably could say he's committed, uh, you, you know, civil disobedience. But do we think of Daniel Ellsberg as being an enemy of the people? He was a friend of truth. I know still there's probably plenty that still don't like him, but is isn't he the one that really gave us the concrete proof that Vietnam was based yes. on a lie? Yes. Most people should know yes. that Iraq and yes. Afghanistan and Supreme, was all and, based on a lie, too. And the Supreme Court said that he was authorized under the First Amendment to do so. Congressman Paul, thanks for joining us.